and move this old Linux, remove it, and put it in its original home. Alrighty, installed the RA-17 two-stage unit, and it's actually six inches away from the wall. Um, that's, I give the customers the recommended distance, and then I let them choose what they want. Or they, they tell me where they want it, so it is six inches. A lot of the videos, it looks like it's up against the wall, but it's not. So we're in compliance. I hook up the line set and the electrical. We're putting the air conditioner back in its original spot. I have to splice on the old line set. I have to splice on my two wire. Hook that up. Here's my two stage control board. Contactor, EC motor. This is for the uh, Compressor, ECM uh, condenser fan motor, and this is for the compressor. Here's my hookup. I only need four of these, so the other ones I just cap off. This is my final vacuum 158. Daniel Samar has been asking about my vacuum pump setup, so I have something here for you. Um, I'm only pulling with the to one side of the system, but I, when I open up my valves, I open up my suction line first, wait for the unit to pressurize slightly, and then I pull off my uh, micron gauge. Then I go back, continually opening up the uh, suction line until the, um, the unit equalizes and then I open up 
my uh, liquid line last. And the, the, the reason I, I do that is because once you release the refrigerant, you have the oil coming with it. So I, re I release it slowly, and so I have the refrigerant coming through that suction line along with the oil, and I want that oil to be sitting in that suction line. Um, if I open up the liquid line first, then I'm going to have refrigerant, and the oil is going to be coming with it. It's going to be sitting in my liquid line. I don't want the, the oil in my liquid line and then have to go through the evaporator and make its way back to the compressor. So I want that oil to be sitting right inside of that suction line. It's right. So when you go to start the unit up, the oil instantly gets sucked back into the unit. If you open up the liquid line first, it's going to be it's going to take a while for it to get back to that compressor on a brand new unit so you get a smoother startup. And then my um, vacuum pumps a 1.35 CFM a Revco. I've only pulled through one side with a quarter inch yellow jacket hose an Apion core removal tool I take the core out it's all quarter inch but uh, that's it I can I can uh, vacuum that thing at below 500 microns in like a half an hour but um, and I'm not I can pull it through one side because I'm not working with hard shit off TXVs or EVBs or anything like that so that's it okay then I put my Schrader valve inside, so we're all set. Take this off, and we're done. So again, I open up my suction line first, so the oil comes out of the compressor and it's sitting in the line here. So I got to turn it, turn the AC on. It's going to suck all the oil back instead of opening up the liquid line first, having all the oil stuck in the liquid line here. Then going to the evaporator, making a, a round trip, which will take hours, if not days, for all the oil to return. We've got the UV light up there for you too. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's good. That's yeah. Good. yeah so we're, we're, we're all good. That's it, RA17. Customer said just leave this, he's gonna clean it all up, but we got proper clearances. I know it looks close, but we're fine. We are fine. That is an illusion. So, yeah, we're all good. It's running really good. And then the, yeah, this is the way the customer wanted it, but I cut the pad, sunk it in the ground there, so. He's gonna fix it up, put some bricks out here, and fix that up in there. It'll be fine. Do, 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 do. 